From the radio to the TV screen Anything you want or level me It's on Gary's Corner It's on Gary's Corner He's not up the block or across the street If you want to be seen, you can read a song Gary's Corner Gary's Corner Hey, what's up? It's your boy KD uh, We're doing the Gary's Corner TV show Here in Manhattan on somebody's rooftop I don't know where the hell we're at, but it ain't the projects Definitely ain't the projects, but uh, <laughs> shout out to the projects, it's not today. I'm here with the, the homie Obi Trice from Area Code 313, Motown, Motown. Detroit, yes, sir. Michigan, the boot, the, not the boot state, that would be Louisiana, right. the hand state, you know, the, the hand thumb state. and all that. So where would Michigan, Detroit would be Detroit is right, right here, here. Yeah. right, and then you got the, 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 you, the, the you, penis yeah. part. Yeah, over the, here he's, up, up yeah he can't believe that i said that he's like what but anyway uh welcome to new york i like your shades brother thanks bro ah, you, yeah you, you we should switch <laughs> that's what we should do <laughs> so so um obi trice is here uh in new york city doing his promo uh he's promoting uh his new album the hangover came out yesterday okay august 7th hangover in stores now best buys everywhere Get that, get that thing. iTunes. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah, iTunes too. Can't forget Amaz iTunes. Amazon, Amazon, Google and Play, all that. Yeah. Google Play. Don't bootleg now, people, because you know you can't be. You I gotta mean, support the talent. I got so, a body of work out there. New right. body of work is always yeah. good. So let me ask you a question, brother. Um, what inspired you? Do I need to ask? Because I don't drink really. Like I did an interview with Rayvon. It's a big reggae artist. I used to work with Shaggy and all that. And they were promoting a single. Uh, a while back called uh, Patron in my cup and they teased me because they said you know Kerry if you was in the video you'd probably have Snapple in your cup so am I to assume that the hangover is about getting tipsy well uh, my albums all originated from you know like drinking things my first album was okay. called, called Cheers okay it's right uh, you know which was a Clink. celebration to be you know come out the neighborhood come out the hood come from where i come from mm -hmm. which is schoolcraft and greenfield area in detroit detroit michigan so, so to be able yeah. to come from that my first album was called cheers okay my second album was called second rounds on me because um eminem basically was there while i created the cheers uh album mm -hmm. you know he was basically there while i created the cheers album and so and so uh <laughs> he's nervous because i'm doing something in the background yeah. just just focus on him for a yeah. second so i can so the, yeah the second album was second rounds on me and um i did that myself so i brought it to uh eminem mm -hmm. and so i named it that my my last album was called bottoms up on my uh oh so you it's just straight alcoholism yeah independent yeah. my independent record uh my independent label, right. basically, I put out a, a record, 2012, called Bottoms Up. Okay. This is my my fourth album on my independent label, Black Market Entertainment, and it's called uh, it's called The Hangover. The Hangover. And this is this is probably like the last album that I do with those type of drinking theme titles. I mean, it is what it, I mean because I see you got the tattoo. Yeah. The cheers. My classic. And I figured, you know, why not, you know, keep the theme going. You know, we're not we're not gonna promote because we don't want them to well, get. Well, we do. Do we? Because I'm working with them. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, we do promote them. Kettle then. one. Yes, yeah. kettle one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so uh, I like the K on here. Yeah. It's yeah, I like English. the K. It's like, um, yeah. It's, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, I can't relate, brother. When I go to the clubs and stuff, yeah. I get cranberry and apple juice, cranberry juice and apple juice, cranberry juice and pineapple juice mixed do because it looks like a drink and people leave me the hell alone. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Because do I don't you, drink. You swing from the vines. You smoke I, weed. Do I swing from the vines? Brother, I thought you was asking me like if I was a Peter Pan Tarzan type situation. Yeah. No, I don't smoke weed either. I'm not square, I guess. Oh, yeah, okay. Jolly never, Ranchers. Never, never did it? I either. did once, though. I smoked weed once uh, back home in Boston with a couple Bill of my Clinton friends. Type thing. Uh, you you it never was, drunk before? You I mean, I've gotten drunk, but it's not been a good situation. Okay. Like, so, like, I think I've gotten drunk three times. I may have smoked weed twice. But How I've, old are you? On camera? I'm, I'm, I'm a man of a certain age, brother. 
Let's just say. Black let's, don't crack, let's, though. You let's, say if you 51, 52. Uh, damn, bro. Wow. No, definitely not that old. Oh, okay. No, but let's fair to say that weed and alcohol, um, when I've smoked and drank, other Bad people. Situation. No, no. Well, other people think it's hilarious. Like the oh. ratings for this show, if I was to drink the rest of this right now, would probably be sky high. But, but I don't think my mother would appreciate that. You know oh, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. You, you know, mom. Still got your mother. Of course, yeah. My, my yeah. mother passed away. Oh, God That's rest her soul. Eleanor Trice. Yes, rest God rest her soul. So I don't want to, you know, I don't want to give the people too much so to laugh about. You dig what I'm saying? So what was it like? Can can I? Do you mind? This is yours, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna drink it. I, I can't. Vodka. Yeah, it's, it doesn't stink like most alcohol, but <laughs> very good for Kettle One. So anyway, uh, um, what was it like? Uh, you you from Detroit? Um, you know, Eminem is huge in Detroit. So what was it like? You know, when you first uh, started working um, on the Shady Label, what was, was that experience was, like for you? It was great. Mm -hmm. was, you know, it was we was all from from Detroit. It was, right. It was a great feeling, man. We. It was his home. Okay, I mean? so I have to ask a question because Detroit's one of the few cities in this country that I've never visited, except for to change flights at the airport okay. at uh, Detroit Wayne Airport. So I've never been to Detroit, but I know that it's hood. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of it is hood. Yeah. So I've always I, just keep it official, brother. Mm -hmm. Is Eminem really from the hood in Detroit, or is he from like, you know, well, he's from Warren? Warren, Michigan, that's like the hood, yeah. Okay, so he's from outside of Detroit. Yeah, well, you know, like Warren is like, you know, right across the, the street from, from Detroit. Detroit. Okay, yeah, so, like, okay. Because like, okay, for it's, example. It's hood. It, it's hood. Oh, my, okay, my well, bad. yeah. Well, but, but see, because so, like Madonna has always said that she's from Detroit. And then I later learned she's not really from Detroit. She, she's from I, outside I, yeah, of. Yeah, but she's like, I don't know where she's from. Okay, so I can't speak on but that. she's not know. from the hood, though. I don't See, think she's from the actual city. City, like, she's from like, somewhere outside. You know, guys, guys from Detroit is like, uh, what's the guy who played in um, Heat? He was uh -oh. dating. You he definitely. Was dating. You don't. You, I, you, you didn't see the movie I, Heat with Al Pacino no, and, and Robert De Niro. The last movie that I saw that you probably know about was uh, was probably uh, New Heat, Jack though. City Juice. I don't do the movies. You don't do the movies, no, you don't, I don't drink, do, I, you, I got, know. you got a woman? I definitely, well, I'm single, <laughs> but, uh, you know, I get, what he's, see, now he's trying to get at the fact that I live a boring <laughs> life, but you guys know better because you've seen me in action. Like, but anyway, never but, mind but, my but, life, or lack anyway, thereof. Anyway, the guy, uh, what's the guy's name? Bobby. You don't even know the name. Yeah, he's from Hamtramck, though. I, I gotta say this, though. Uh, he's from Michigan. Uh, the, the actor, the white actor, he played in Heat. You don't know? At this point, we Not probably should just uh, see. He, I guess it's the, the level of relevance is just... Nah, he's relevant, though. He's but what was you going to say about him, what, though? What I'm saying is, like, he's from Detroit. Right. He's from Hamtramck, Michigan. You know, that's still, that's still like, the heart of Detroit, Got too. Got you. You know what I mean? Okay. Because, uh, see, well, I'm from Boston, and then new kids on the block are from Boston, yeah. and they're from the city, but they're not really from the hood. Okay. Even though Mark Wahlberg has tried to portray, you know what I mean? It's, okay. That's why I asked. Anyway, so you're from Detroit, like uh, Eight Mile and, and, and Motown, the city of Detroit. Okay. So what's it like coming up in a city uh, where, you know, it's, just, it's tough, a tough city like Detroit? Trying to make it out of there. Mm -hmm. Just trying to do whatever you can to come up every day mm -hmm. the best way you can. No, no different from New York, no different from probably Boston neighborhoods. I'm sure it same, is, though. Same from same, Boston. I mean, it's kind of, yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm just teasing. So, yeah. but, but, but the thing that, one of the things that I know about you, brother, and that I really respect is that, like, a lot of people come from the hood and, 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 and beat their chest about being from the hood and all this other stuff. But you have actually um, gone as far as talking to government officials in Michigan oh, yeah. about, right yeah, about, yeah. about, Doing stuff to improve the situation in Detroit. Talk to me about that. Well, yeah, we 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 um we was trying to get you know establish like a community for the youth to go to. Mm -hmm. So you know where you know like you can take field trips and, and the kids can come for the arts. You know, right. like it show you Motown, show you their history. Right. But, you know, um, with, with the senator Virgil, wait. 
he's in trouble now. He's not. Oh, okay. You know, they, you know, he he got in trouble. That's that's Detroit for you now. Like, he's, is not, he's following Kwame's footsteps. Is that yeah. what it is? Well, he got into some domestic situations oh. with with some females. Oh, you know, young guy. Yeah. You know, senator, young guy. You know, things happen. But, things you know, happen. Yeah. yeah things happen. So so, but I, but I but I applaud you for actually going that route. You know, to 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 really really uh, going to government officials mm -hmm. to try to make improvements because that's really you know one of the few ways that we can really make change mm -hmm. and you took your celebrity status and and, and and made that happen I really respect that so going back to the whole shady records like I have to also ask this what was it like working with Dr Dre though it's incredible man yeah. everything you ever been in his presence you no ever I haven't met him? no I haven't yeah. Hardest working guy in the business, man. I've and heard he's, that. He's um, he real cool, man. Mm -hmm. he real laid back, you know. And and um, I grew up to his music. Of right. Course. So that must have been like an honor there. And I was just literally when we made songs, you know, it was just like, oh wow, I'm in the I'm in the studio with Dr. Dre. Dre right. And he actually was like, hell yeah. Yeah. That's that's real. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. To your stuff. Like that, right? Right. right. That's really real, right? So, and, and now, now I, I also think it's interesting, you know, where, like, speaking of keeping it real, I mean, you use your government mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. as your stage name. What inspires you to, to keep it that real? Because what, what I'm thinking is that a brother that's real enough to use his stage name is giving us all of himself and yeah, his I, music. I've done everything that I said in my music. Mm -hmm. Everything that you hear about me, I've been there and done that. Uh, proof from D12, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. He, I, we used to go to the hip hop shop. Was a, you know, where you go showcase your skills, right. your rap skills every Saturday mm -hmm. in Detroit. And and I used to call myself Obi One right. when I was a young guy. And Proof was like, "What's your real name?" And I told him Obi Trice, and he was like, "That's what I'm going to introduce you as from now on when you get on the mic here." That's what's up. And and everything I've done is real. Like everybody in the neighborhood know me, know me on the, from the corner, mm -hmm. from from you know whatever the case may be. So you know I you know I have nothing to I have nothing to hide. You okay. Know what I'm I have I plenty know. to hide. Yeah. I'm five foot something, but you you don't need to know that. That's why I'm sitting down. You what's mad it? about that? Not really. Because I wear got a, a nice size shoes. No, I'm black, brother, so I'm I'm blessed in certain <laughs> other areas. You know what I mean? Okay. But anyway, All so right. so check this None out. None of my business. None of yours, but yeah. plenty of yours. Right. Um, what's it like being Obi Trice nowadays? With um, the release with the release of the Hangover yeah. on your own label, mm -hmm. independent. You know, and that's that's an accomplishment Thank right you. there. I salute that. Thank what's it like being Obi Trice right now? We can be richer though. You know, just mm -hmm. trying to get richer. Of course. You know, that's what it's like. Like, trying to get richer. Right, just and drunker. Right? Uh, yeah, I mean, just this a is little a bonus. Bit. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, <yeah. laughs> you know. Okay. I can hang out with you if you don't drink. We can, we don't have to yeah. drink. You know, it's always the, the uh, this is this is what I'm doing right now. Uh, lemon and, 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 and cucumbers. And that tastes good. Too. It tastes real good. and it's, I do the smoothies, yeah. though, like yeah. the spinach and the, and the strawberries and... You know, mix them up and with the pineapples and that's what like you get. Because see, I'm trying to slim down. No, but I'm trying to shout out to my artist Julia Robertson, formerly of ex girlfriend, um, <laughs> who put me onto this. Yeah, I'm just you know took it, her style. She like he took my style. Well, we, we, we I got him right. Right. She she's trying to slim there. me down. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to look like I don't want to look at the, the Michelin man. So what can we expect from Obi Trice? Um, from this new project, The Hangover. Are you well, going to be doing uh, promotional yeah, tours? We're touring, and, yeah, mm -hmm. we're touring. We're about to start a tour from Cheers to The Hangover. Good. So I'm on stage for like two hours. You feel me? Can you, you perform? Can I'm, I'm, I'm dope. Man. Okay. I, I, I got to ask. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I got to ask. My shows is, is the dope. So, okay, okay. But uh, you can come out too. Oh, yeah, you know I, I want to come. If you want to slim up, you know. Go out there for two two hours and stand. Oh, and just be like, out. you know what I'm saying? Come on, that's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. Lose weight for 30 days. You go home. <laughs> and you go. That's all I gotta do. That's just, all you gotta do. I get to wear your shades. Yeah, you. I don't know. We can get you some. <laughs> we can get you some. Get you my own shades. Okay. Um, 
<laughs> being that you're from Motown, um, how do you feel that feeds into your your music? Because you know I, I, everybody talks about where they're from, this, that, and the third. But we know that Detroit is a legendary city where where so many um, black artists were were groomed, so many legends were groomed. Does that make you feel like uh, you sort of have a responsibility to shine harder? Mm -mm. No? No, not at all. Okay. I just do me. Do my music. Bring what I bring to the industry. Okay. That's all. I'm, I'm not like, you know... Um, you don't feel the weight of none, no, Motown on your shoulders. That, no, okay. Okay. Quick question. You're a brother of a certain age. Mm -hmm. If you had to name one favorite rapper... Who would that be? Big Daddy Kane. Said that very quickly. I went to one of his birthday parties. It's a very humble brother. Have you met him before? No. Yeah, big shout out to Big Daddy. Very, very humble brother. Now, um, can, I, can I go on about who else? Oh, wait a minute now. Okay. Good. Now, because I just said one. Okay. I made it difficult. That's what I was saying. That's yeah, what I was just, saying. Just one. One R&B artist. One R&B artist who I... Appreciate. Past, present, deceased, alive, doesn't matter. Your um, favorite. I'm going to say, uh, Mary. Okay, Mary J. Blige. Yeah, Mary. If you could work with one artist, R&B or hip-hop or jazz or country for that matter, living or dead, who would it be? Hope. And why? Be the greatest. Okay. Okay. I mean, now, I've, I've worked with the greatest, but, he, you know, I never did a song with him. With one of the other greatest. Exactly. Yes. So, okay, now I'm going to let you elaborate. i got to get the difficult questions out there first. Mm -hmm. Make you think and talk and, you yeah. know. Th your other favorite uh, hip-hop artists, people that inspire you perhaps. Um, Aside today, from, like right now? doesn't matter. Um, who inspires me is, uh, uh, of course, Jay. Mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, I like Rosé. I like Rick Ross. Okay. I like Meek Mills. Okay. I like Benny Siegel. Okay. I like... Uh, Shout out to Philadelphia. I like... Uh, um, I like J. Cole. Okay. I like... Uh, uh, I like G-Unit. Okay. I like uh, Slaughterhouse. Okay. Eminem, of course, you know. I like... Uh, um, who else I like? I like YG. I like Dude. He's sweet. Kanye. Mm-hmm. Um... I like Ludacris. Okay. Uh, and that's I like uh, I like who else I like? Obi Trice. Well, yeah. Yeah. You're not talking about me. I'm though. just saying. Oh, you yeah, get, you yeah, got to include you on that list of oh, of, of greats. No, I'm I'm I was already not included. I'm the first one. Oh, he's the first one Hope. on the list. I'm before Hope. Right, so he's at I'm the I'm before Big Daddy top. Kane. Yes, I'm and all of that. You're first. All those things. I like that. Yeah. Yes. I indeed. wasn't even talking about me. I used to rap too, you know that? You used to rap? Yeah, I had five minutes of fame, brother. We don't need to like elaborate on that. Just how I you, said it and we feel, can how you feel about that? About the fact that I used to rap? <laughs> that you had five minutes of fame. Uh it was in nineteen ninety two, it was a stupid song called Bleeders about girls that wear tight jeans and how I really like you know, they're so tight that it makes, you know... What did that, that. chart at? What did, what did it do? Uh, locally in Boston, it was one of the local favorites of 1992. But as far as charting, it was five minutes of fame. And I went immediately back to managing artists when I realized that that wasn't for me. Okay. Yeah. And I learned that going to... I actually performed that song, since you're making me talk about this, at my high school pep rally. Mm -hmm. And you know what the funny thing was? Mm -hmm. The audience was going like this you know, get off the stage, mm -hmm. but it was so many people that I thought they were cheering. Saying hip hop. Yeah, hooray. hooray. And they were saying, no, get off the stage. And I was like, yeah, I got my head hyping. <laughs> I realized that the behind the scene things was, was for me. Wow. And so what what's your story uh, well, taking wait, it back? How in, did you? In high school, I didn't, nobody knew that I, that I did music in okay. high school. Nobody, N nobody knew I did it. There was talent shows I used to go to. Mm -hmm. You know, I used to look at these guys like, <laughs> Look at these guys, right? right? But like they need to take some of this and get their weight even, up. Not even that. They just was not talented. So they like should have gotten this. They should have like gotten I that. did. Yeah. I should have been up there. Though. Right. But you know, I was I was doing too many other things mm -hmm. back then. So right. you know, um, that was my that was my move, and I didn't. You know, I really didn't do that. 
Right. So how old was you when you decided, if you don't mind me asking, when you decided that, that this is for me? That with the Obi Trice is is uh, when I had uh, a daughter. I had mm -hmm. my first daughter. You know, I had I got two girls now, mm -hmm. Kobe and Chloe. Okay. And my oldest is Kobe. She's 16 now. So mm -hmm. you know, I was about 22 when I had her. You know, I was just like, I gotta do something. Right. And, and so we start focusing, you know, on on the music. Mm -hmm. and so that's what happened. I got distribution through a company called Land Speed. Right, I'm familiar Buds, with Land Speed. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we put out some 12 inch vinyls and shipped them, and, you know, and overseas and things like that. Eminem was actually overseas when he was out in the club. Mm -hmm. They played the record. New Obi Trice. Um, I think it was Westwood or something like that. And, uh, you know, he was like, who is this guy? He came home and found me. And it was just smiles and handshakes from there. See, and then you was just there. Yeah. So I have a, I have a, I, I, this this is a really interesting question. You might not think so, but I need to hear this from you. What's tour life like when you're on shady records? Um, go to work every day. Mm -hmm. You know, just you know, it's, we have fun times. We had a bunch of fun times out there. And, um, that's what it was. Like you, you want a story? Story? Like what's it? What's it like? What's it like performing in front of huge crowds like that and the energy? It's the next, it's a feeling that I can't even explain. Explain it's, it's, it in it's, your story. It's, it's, it's like, well, this ain't, the stories I'm gonna give you is just funny stories. Uh oh, okay. Like, like the, but, but. It's actually, not for children. Yeah, actually, right. um, actually, uh, performing was great, man. Mm -hmm. 45,000 people wow. singing your songs, singing your records. You know, it's like, it's like winning the championship. Right, right. right. You know, I wouldn't know. Every night. Because when I was performing, I was, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so give me give me one one of your favorite tour stories. Well, uh, here's a tour story. I was in, I was, we was on the, um, the Rock the Mic tour mm -hmm. with, with Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg, G-Unit, myself. Wow. Uh, I think Fab was out there. You and all those little guys. <laughs> Funny. Wow. Yeah, so we, you know, I go to, I'm in G Unit's room. Mm -hmm. Bunch of ladies in the room. Of course, they're naked? Nah, they, they weren't. Not naked. that, that just, point. Like, nah. Oh, they're okay. sitting on the couch. Right. And uh, Snoop in there, 50 Cent, he's in there sitting down in front of Snoop. Buck and all of them, Lloyd Banks, yeah, mm -hmm. you know, everybody's in there, the whole G Unit. Mm -hmm. This was before Kid Kid was involved with G Unit back in the day. Okay. After game, after right. game, and um, you know, so Fifty got the spinning G Unit piece. Right. And I just bought like me some jewelry for twelve grand. Like, damn, my, dude. My, my ring was twelve. My my ring and my my bracelet was twelve grand. You know, it was total to twelve grand. $12,000. Can I get a loan? <laughs> so I was in there, right? So Snoop was, he had his jewelry on, so they was talking about how much they spent for their jewelry and how much they paid for it. And so I was like, you know, I I paid 12000 for this right here. And Snoop said, what you say, nephew? I could have <laughs> got that for $1,000 and swap me. <laughs> I swap me. So, you know, his ladies, his ladies around, right? Mm -hmm. And and I just started, like, I was so mad. Like, you know, like, I would open the Rock the Mic tour, so I was, right. like, the first artist that come on stage right. before my album came out. So I would open up, people still getting their hair done. Right. You know, I'm the first sh You're first the act. opening act. Yeah. What so, year was this about? Uh, 2002, okay. 2003. Yeah, okay. So, um... He said that, right? And then um, I looked around and it was like, it felt like the whole world paused, like ladies was looking. <laughs> so I would be the first act. So I would always, me and my crew, you know, I took the whole hood with me. Mm -hmm. We had my whole tour bus wrapped up, over trikes, cheers coming soon. So I would take my, you know, all my friends, we would leave from backstage and go watch the show. Right, of course. And um, he said that 
and I kind of walked out, man. I, 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 can I show you how I, I walked out? Yeah. Let me show you how I did. Nephew, I could have got that for a thousand dollars. Now the whole the whole place is quiet right now. I was like this. Oh, you gotta come back over here. You out of mic range. So let me tell you. So, so when I leave, right, I go to my my room. You know, backstage. You know, Obi Trice wall. I'm throwing things around. I'm I'm so mad. You know, Snoop. Snoop looked like a like a swisher sweet. He looked like a blunt. I hit him in his kneecaps. I ain't going out there. So I never went out and seen Snoop perform. Really? Again after that. Like, wow. Was, you know, you know, it's I was eleven thousand dollar loss. It was yeah. exactly right. <laughs> it's eleven thousand exactly. Cause got that from the swap I think meet. I got over it though, right. like the end of the tour. But you know, it was just like wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was, so I, 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 is it fair to say that you had the most expensive jewelry on in that room? You spent more money than they did, and they was. So you just didn't have the celebrity discount yet, I guess. I mean, That's maybe what it I was, was just being too open with these guys. Yeah, maybe I should have just set up. You right. Know, you're yeah, talking yeah. to, you at the time you're talking to Fifty Cent, who got the spinning piece. Right. One of the biggest artists in the in the, in the world at that time. Right, right. Just came out with Wangster. Right. Wow. You're talking to Snoop Dogg, that a been legend. in the game. Right. I grew up to. Right. Who got his ice on, and maybe I just should have shut up. So, so now with the with the Straight Outta Compton movie coming out and, a, and kind of a, a whole new um, spotlight on um, the entire Dre uh, camp, uh, how do you feel about um, yourself perhaps being in a movie? Because you were in, uh, eight you mile. did, you, yeah, you did Eight Mile. Would you feel like your story is worthy of? Definitely. Being a movie, definitely. Okay, we 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 in, we working on that. Actually. See, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Can I get a cameo? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I can be the the the, the, the manager guy. Be the guy who said twelve thousand dollars. <laughs> you had the twelve thousand dollars jewelry. No, so right? I'm gonna play your part. Yeah, you I'm gonna play, play you yeah, as you the. Play okay, over. yeah, okay, okay. We that's what I can do. Height, build, right. Know, yeah. Play me. Okay. Let's see. He said it first <laughs> on the Kerry's Corner TV show. He wants me to play him in his biopic. But we're gonna make sure it gets produced correctly, though. Exactly. Right. We don't right want people. yeah, the right people. We don't want exactly. it to be like certain other <laughs> no. flopizzo oh, no. biopics. Oh, no. Any closing words you want to say to the to the Carrie's Corner yeah. TV audience? My new album is in stores now. It's called The Hangover. Make sure you go pop that. Make sure you go get that. Um, uh, my Instagram is real Ob Trice. My Twitter is real Ob Trice. One word. Any booking, anything like that, you can reach us at Team Black Market at Gmail. And uh, hopefully, I'll be coming to a city near you. And we get, you know, I bring you back from Cheers from the beginning to where I'm at now. Yeah, I want to see you perform on tour oh, I'm because I'm, I'm a person that likes real entertainment. I like right. to be entertained. Right. And I'm sober all the time, so it's harder to entertain me right. than it would be if I was right. kicking back a, a, a blunt. Too, yeah, you well. Know, it's, it's, New York, we used to come out in New York and this Eminem would be on stage and New York guys would be like this. Yeah, that's... <laughs> that's just New York. Yeah, yeah that's you know, New York guys, City. It's hard to impress. Yeah, Philadelphians right? are hard. I don't know if you ever did a show in Philly. I did a show in Philly. Philly's a Philly. rough... Yeah, that's a... Philadelphians don't play. Yeah, yeah New Yorkers they, don't, though. Yeah, they, I, New I've Yorkers done don't. Madison Square Garden. I've done... Mm -hmm. We've been all through New York. Mm -hmm. Upstate New York. Boston. Mm -hmm. You know, but... You know, New York hard. is New you're, York. You're a bar. You from I'm Boston. I'm from Boston. Yeah, yeah, I've lived here 20 years though. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I know both cities very well. Okay. But let me just say this. Why would, uh, you see, you're really right? trying to, yeah. Just, that's <laughs> really irrelevant. I'm a man of a certain age. That's really all it that's is. Dope, that's dope. That's all it is. Yeah, you but, put that in some music. Yeah, I'm but, a um, man of a certain age. A man of a certain age. But you got a Wikipedia. No, you have a Wikipedia. Oh, you don't have I'm one. not balling like that. You they don't give a damn about me yet. You can Google me, but you won't find Wikipedia. No, and not yet. You'll find other things, but you can. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm relevant, but not as relevant as as Obi Trice yet. That's because I got to get my. 
you are. We're some constant relevance. My rap, so my rap on. Yeah. yeah. So, well, thank you so much for being on the Appreciate show. You, man. Um, you definitely got love on the Carrie's Corner TV show. Thank you, Hopefully, man. you're gonna come hang out on the on the radio show. Uh, but yeah. you're always coming in town on days that we don't tape. We have to <laughs> we have to work on that, brother. Yeah. Uh, we, uh, you tape you on, talk to my PR. Uh, we got to tape on. We tape on Mondays, so you, gotta talk to my you know. PR yeah, lady. We talk to your PR lady. But it was a Full pleasure. Body. Pleasure having you on the show. Yeah. And um, Kettle One. Kettle One, definitely. Yeah. Vodka, that's what I'm drinking. Poland Springs with cucumbers this and lemon. This is for all the kids. This is for the adults that's watching. This is for brothers that still want to have kids, brother. Okay. See? You don't want to be sterile? Drink this. Still want to have yeah. kids. Yeah, although I don't have any. I, I got don't. kids on. I don't want any. I'm good. I just want yeah. a dog. These are for people that want to live a little long. <laughs> Right. And and also for the kids. And the, those kids don't to, drink this. Yeah, don't drink that. This is for the adults. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the adults know what I'm talking about about this. So I'm not an adult. Well, he's a he's an adult, but he's drinking a, he's kid still, juice. Ob Trice, yo. Three one three Detroit. Uh, the the record is called The Hangover, and um, we All gonna right, hang so out. Is. All right, let's go. Detroit in the building. Detroit is definitely in the architecture with my man's.